if you were facing a 10-year prison sentence. Now imagine if you were innocent of the crime. Stuart Wessels had been living that scenario for the past three months. Thursday, he was exonerated. Good evening, I'm Erin Kiernan. And I'm Sonia Heitzus, and thanks for joining us. News of the assault made people furious. The victim was a jovial man famous for running barefoot in local events. Tonight, his attacker is still on the loose, and the man police blamed is in the clear. Dan Winters explains. It's first on 13. Yeah, just out, you know, getting a steak dinner, having some drinks, and all of a sudden, a fight broke out. Here goes the altercation. The bartender's in a fight right now. A Des Moines icon, Forey Jacobson, the barefoot runner, was fighting for his life. A metal plate in my eye socket, through my cheeks and my jaw, and that was wired shut. And the next thing he knew, Stuart Wessels was sitting in jail. You know, I told him it wasn't me. It's the wrong guy. There were witness statements that said it wasn't me. For three months, he told the same story to anyone who would listen. It's the real story of what happens on this surveillance video from that night. Stewart finally found an attorney and a private investigator who got to the bottom of the evidence. They had arrested the wrong man. Clearly, somebody at the police department should have noticed that. I had my doubts, too, because... My attorney said that the video wasn't very clear. In the meantime, Forey had had a breathing tube and a feeding tube. He lost 60 pounds and he racked up over $40,000 in medical bills. For me, it was like waking up and not knowing what happened. In the meantime, Stuart Wessels was living a nightmare. Oh, I was very scared. Very scared. That's a charge that will put him in prison for 10 years and isn't eligible for probation. It's been really tough. Going to work the next day and, you know, being on the news for almost killing a man. It, it's, it's been strange. Des Moines police say they went off the best information they had amidst this chaos. What, in essence, was a melee. It was an absolute mess. Sergeant Chris Scott says investigators are still looking for the real criminal. There's a human uh, error, unfortunately, this uh, is a new, unique case in Des Moines. Um, but uh, certainly we uh, you know, feel bad that, that uh, maybe he was arrested uh, based on the statements that were made that night. If they do find the attacker, Forey will have already forgiven him. I still think that he needs to be punished, but at the same time, I don't hate him. And as for Stuart Wessels... I wouldn't mind running a 5K with Mr. Jacobson. <laughs> Barefoot, of course. The private investigator that Wessels hired thinks that he knows who attacked Forey. Craig Brooks is a former police detective who has tried to pass this information along to police. Brooks says there was a big group of people from Bondurant and West Des Moines who were at the bar that night. He says those people are not cooperating with the investigation, and he thinks the attacker is among them, Aaron. Dan, have police apologized to Wessels in all of this? You know, we asked him that, and he said they haven't. We also asked if he has any words for police regarding how he was treated over the past three months, and Stuart Wessels said no comment. All right, thanks for the follow-up, Dan.